Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a tale that's as chilling as it is revealing, a story that has shaken the very foundation of modern medicine and left a trail of devastation in its wake. Welcome to a journey into the heart of darkness, a journey that seeks to uncover the truth behind the enigmatic Painkiller series. So buckle up, because we're about to dive headfirst into a web of deception, greed, and shattered lives. Painkiller Unmasked, the shocking secrets of Big Pharma revealed. Picture this, a world where pain is subdued, and a miracle drug promises a life free from the clutches of agony. But beneath this shiny veneer lies a sinister reality, one that the limited series Painkiller aims to expose. This is no ordinary tale. It's a symphony of meticulous research and gut-wrenching storytelling that unravels the origins of an epidemic that continues to haunt us. Enter the masterminds behind the curtain. Eric Newman, Pete Berg, Micah Fitzsimon Blue, and Noah Harpster. They've harnessed the power of words and emotions to craft a narrative that is as gripping as it is enlightening. Their canvas is painted with ink from two written sources that read like pages torn from a thriller novel, the 2003 book Painkiller by Barry Meyer and the 2017 New Yorker article that shook the world, The Family That Built an Empire of Pain by Patrick Radden Keefe. Intriguing, isn't it? Picture these creators as modern-day detectives piecing together a puzzle that spans decades, unveiling the shocking truth behind the Sackler family's role in the opioid crisis. It's a web of intrigue that spans from boardrooms to dark alleys, from whispered conversations to headlines that scream for justice. But wait, there's more. Newman, the visionary mind behind Narcos, sums it up perfectly. We're trying to understand how this all started so that we can maybe finally stop it. The heart of Painkiller beats with a mission to uncover the roots of this catastrophe, to shine a light on the darkness that led to over 40 lives lost each day due to opioid overdoses. Painkiller Exposed, the shocking truth about Big Pharma's deadly game. Now let's delve into the very essence of this crisis. Imagine a world where pain can be erased with a simple pill, a painkiller. But this isn't your ordinary pill. It's a weapon of mass destruction, camouflaged as a solution. The opioid epidemic, a term etched in infamy, traces its origins to the insidious marketing of OxyContin, a drug that promised relief but delivered a nightmare. Meet OxyContin, a drug with potential yet sinister applications. The tale of this drug's rise to power is like watching a thriller unfold. Purdue Pharma, the puppeteer behind this macabre show, orchestrated a symphony of marketing tactics that played on doctors' ignorance and patients' suffering. As the curtain rises on this tragedy, the sales of OxyContin skyrocket and the devastation begins. The narrative's climax lands in 1996, the year Purdue Pharma unleashed OxyContin onto an unsuspecting world. A seemingly innocent pill grew into a monster, leaving a trail of shattered lives in its wake. By 2001 and 2002, OxyContin's combined sales surpassed a staggering $3 billion. Can you believe it? A pill designed to ease suffering led to billions flowing into the pockets of those who profited from the pain. But who unraveled this grim narrative? Barry Meyer, the modern-day Sherlock of journalism, received a tip that ignited the flames of revelation. In 2001, a pharmacy regulator whispered about a new drug on the street, OxyContin. Meyer's relentless pursuit of truth laid the foundation for his book, Painkiller. And as the spotlight shifted to the Sackler family, Patrick Radden Keefe's piercing gaze revealed their role in this heart-wrenching drama. Unveiling the opioid conspiracy inside the dark secrets of Painkiller series. Enter Patrick Radden Keefe, a journalist who, armed with a passion for truth, delved into the underworld of Big Pharma. His gaze shifted from drug cartels to the Sackler family, the architects of the opioid crisis. Keefe's investigative prowess turned the spotlight onto the Sacklers, unearthing their connection to the opioid epidemic. This was a battle not with guns, but with pills, a war that ensnared countless lives. But what's a tale without unexpected alliances? Micah Fitzsimon Blue and Noah Harpster, the dynamic duo behind Painkiller, embarked on a quest to bring the truth to light. Their journey began with reading Meyer's book and articles, a rabbit hole that led them to the heart of the crisis. As they weaved the threads of this complex narrative, another storyteller entered the arena, Alex Gibney. Gibney, a documentarian with a knack for unearthing uncomfortable truths, saw the power of Keefe's article. The Crime of the Century, his documentary, 
danced on similar strings of deception and despair. These creators weren't competitors. They were crusaders with a common cause to expose the crime behind the opioid crisis. Unmasking the Opioid Empire, Painkiller Series Exposed, and now the climax, a showdown between truth and deception. The gates of Netflix opened, welcoming Painkiller into the homes and hearts of viewers around the world. But this tale isn't confined to screens. It's a living, breathing monster. Eric Newman, the captain of this ship, knew that the story demanded to be heard, demanded to be seen. The Sackler family, Purdue Pharma, and the opioid crisis, it's a narrative that refuses to be silenced. In a world where justice often seems elusive, Painkiller pierces the veil of secrecy, reminding us that this battle is far from over. The bankruptcy of Purdue Pharma in 2019 was merely a chapter in this saga. The courts danced to the tune of justice, but it was a tune that seemed out of tune. The Sacklers, masters of a multi-billion dollar empire, stood in the shadow of allegations. As the dust settled, the truth remained. 300,000 lives lost, families shattered, communities scarred. So, dear viewers, as you venture deeper into the trenches of Painkiller, remember that this isn't just a series. It's a mirror held up to society. It's a tale that continues to unravel, a tale that demands justice, accountability and change. The opioid crisis may be the antagonist, but the real heroes are those who dare to speak, to question and to fight. And as we bid adieu, remember these words. These stories don't get made enough. So when they do, we gotta do it a king right and take a swing. The battle rages on, and with every swing, we come one step closer to breaking the chains that bind us to this epidemic. So what lies ahead? What's next on this journey of revelation? Dive into the pages of Painkiller by Barry Meyer. Devour the words of Patrick Radden Keefe's Empire of Pain and unravel the layers with Alex Gibney's The Crime of the Century. Let your thirst for knowledge be your guide, for this is a story that demands to be heard, a story that deserves to be told. And there you have it, a tale spun from the threads of truth, a narrative that stretches far beyond the confines of a screen. The opioid crisis may be daunting, but knowledge is power, and with power comes change. Remember, it's not just a story, it's a call to action. It's time to awaken, to question, and to stand united against the shadows that threaten our world.